Why do men want to play with Aquarius women like it's all a joke? But once you get a hook of us, you can't let us go. I'm not understanding what you thought this was. This ain't no chess checkers or monopoly cuz. Real woman status. You can't misunderstand it. Once an Aquarius get over you, it's no coming back. Then your heart's gonna be left like it was on the train track. Why would you do this to yourself when you know what it is? It's best to speak up or you gonna get dismissed. I don't understand what you thought this was. I'm a unique individual, bruh. It take a lot to get to me, cuz. You can't hurt me with words or try to say words to distract me or make me feel some type of way by what you say. I'm a cold-hearted ass bitch. It ain't nothing left to say. Have y'all ever had your eyes dilated? Yo, they feel so weird. It feels like, I don't know, it feel like my eyes walking on the clouds. Yeah, it feel like, you know how they had that little thing that opened your eye real big? Like they, that's, I don't know why I do my mouth like that, but that's how it feels. My eyes feel like, I feel like that. Baby, whew. I just feel like my eyes finna leave my socket or something and grow legs. I don't know. It just feel real weird. Hey y'all. So honey, just got out of the eye doctor office. Honey, I needed to go find out what's going on with my eyes. Girl, let me cut this down so y'all can hear me. Girl, it's hot out here, girl. She, but yeah, so I had to find out what's going on with my eyes, y'all. My eyes, like, I've been waking up lately, and my eyes been, like, super red, super irritated. And I've been getting, like, these little small little flakes that are coming in front of my vision. But, like, when I blink, they'll go away. But then they'll come every now and then, like, not periodically, which is scary. But it'll come, like, maybe once a day, maybe twice a day. But it's, like, as soon as I blink or I rub my eye, it goes away. But the good news is the doctor said that's normal. Um, we tend to have that, so I shouldn't be worried about that, which is great. She also stated that, that my eyes are really irritated and my eye ducts, the ducts in my eyes are really clogged. So she's saying, basically, I just need to do these certain steps in order to give my eyes some relief. What else she say? And she said it's going to take a lot of consistency and timing as far as my eyes being so dry and so irritated and so like going through whatever phase my eyes is going through. But the great news is, girl, I was so scared, y'all. Let me put this disclaimer out here. I don't want to offend nobody. I know a lot of people go through a lot of things in life and unfortunately things happen a lot because you know this is how the world is, unfortunately. And I know you might have a family member or someone that might have this condition or be in this situation and I don't want to offend nobody but um long story short honey I thought I was gonna go blind later in life girl I like I was so scared that was like the most scariest part of this whole thing girl that was like like you know how it feels to like be able to see throughout your years and all of a sudden you just can't see no you know and i don't want to say it like that because i don't want to fit nobody or nothing but i promise you i don't but that was that's like a big fear and you know we face a lot of challenges and go through a lot of things every day in life unfortunately you know girl it was just i was just in fear of my eyes you know what i mean because it could be alarming and scary to have to deal with certain situations not just eyes but just change a life period when it comes to certain things i just want to say that but the good news is everything's okay i just got to go through my treatments as far as 
all this stuff in this goodie bag, girl. I'm talking about everything. Girl, I love this eye doctor office. If any of y'all work at this eye doctor office and y'all might have seen me up in there. Hey, girl, okay. I love y'all office, y'all. They are so freaking amazing. Baby, it ain't nothing like some good customer service. Honey, I'm telling you, baby, I will, girl, I, girl, if I could tip them, baby, I would have tipped them probably like a hundred dollars. Just, just cause when you go somewhere and you know how good it feels to be somewhere and you comfortable, you relax, you can really talk to people. They understand their customer service skills is immaculate. Like just overall great service, baby. Sign me up. That's, that's my cup of tea. Okay. I love drinking that. All right, girl, I ain't lying. I had to like really like give her praise because she was such a great eye doctor. And let me say this too, real quick. Baby, I went and got my eyes examined before a couple months ago from this eye other eye doctor place. I'm not going to call no name, but their service was nothing like here. It was more like they was trying to get me in and get me out. Like, what kind of ish is that? Like, don't do a job if it ain't meant for you to do it. Find something else, because maybe this ain't the job for you, okay? But anyway, you always go somewhere and get a second opinion about something that you not show up or you feel like they didn't give you the proper answers to what you was looking for as far as questions. Go somewhere else and get a second opinion. I promise you, if it takes three, four, five different places, baby, please do that. Don't never go based off one person, period, okay? So I am so happy and I am so grateful that I found this doctor office. Shout out to Google, period, for me finding them because they service is so crazy and I love leaving me a good review, girl. I'm a review girl. I sure am. Okay, you better watch out for me. Uh-huh. Because, girl, I will leave a review. But anywho, I will definitely be leaving a great review. I love their service. I love her. She was so amazing. She was so listening. She asked me if I had any questions. I just, I just, girl, I'm overall, like, the experience was so memorable. I would definitely highly recommend them. That's how great it was, okay? So, and baby, you can tell the service was good. Look at this. Baby, she hooked me up like I was at the eye store. Girl, stop playing with her. <laughs> Girl, she gave me everything, and I am so happy for this. So, it's only right I hook y'all up, just in case I got people that are probably going through the same situation or something similar, or someone that they know. Let me make sure this phone ain't overheating. Okay, we in now. <laughs> I always love to hook y'all up with the goodies, period. And for my makeup girlies that wear makeup, you know. Um, Lumify, it is a great um, whitening eye uh, drop that you can use like if you ever going through with your eyes being super red i definitely highly recommend lumify it is so good okay because some i be having days like that okay nights like this i wish that raindrops would fall <laughs> that which i know about that fire heartbeats okay so she gave me this sustain i haven't heard of this but it's more for like dry relief so that's good because I be having that bag and my eyes be so red, y'all. When I tell y'all, look, like I done went in the back and baby, <laughs> girl, that's how I um, red my eyes be. And then she gave me some coupons, girl. She was not playing by me. Do you hear me? She gave me coupons for everything. Girl, I'm just in love with her. I love her. I love her. Girl, look at that. She gave me two of them things. She making show. Yo, hook a girl up. Now what I'm talking about. About this eye mask. I highly recommend eye masks for anybody that's going through dry eyes as well. Especially for my ladies or my guys that have allergies. Dry eyes can be a pain in the butt. So this is definitely great. Okay. Um, she told me to use this once a day and for like 10 minutes. You heat it up in the microwave and you put it on your eyes and let them sit on for 10 minutes. But like I said, she said it takes some time to kind of get my eyes to calm down and not be so angry at me. So she just basically said this was great. And she also told me to do like, I can't take these glasses off y'all because my eyes dilated. And she said it took up to like four to five hours to avoid any sun. So she told me to make sure I keep my shades on. And so girl, you know, I had to act like a kid when I left girl. That's why I said, see how they got me spoiled? Girl, stop playing. So she told me to come back in two months and do a checkup. 
So now we are headed to get something to eat because I am freaking starving and I know I deserve it. And I'm having a great day. And you know how you go through some stuff or you have like a rough start or you have a bump in the road throughout your day. And it's like just one little, one little thing could make a big difference in your day. And being at coming to this eye doctor and the, the service that they provide so much better. Like I, I had a rough start today, y'all. It was a little rough. You know, I prayed to God and talked to him first before I got out the bed, but then it's always the devil trying to itch your back. Never fails, baby. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And, and he almost got me a little bit. I know I love God to death and God is there for me, but baby, sometimes this is a little hard that they made my day so much better. You know, people don't understand that's the little things you can say in life to make a big difference in somebody's day. Like, hey, how you doing? Hope you're having an amazing day. That could make a difference to somebody today who's going through some stuff. You know, we all human stuff happens. So I'm gonna highlight y'all. Let's go get this food, honey. So baby, I got a lot of running around to do today, y'all. And we're gonna go to the post office and stuff like that. Mm. Now y'all had a me a PO box for the longest girl. And this is my first time checking my PO box. Girl, I just been really moving, honey, moving and grooving. I got wing style. Mm. For y'all that know, if you don't, baby, I love wing style. Girl, I love wing style. I love wing style. I love wing style. Wing style is like my number one chicken spot when it comes to chicken. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Honey, blue cheese the best. Period. Who wanna argue? Whatever ranch lovers, okay. I love me some blue cheese, honey. And so, um, I got for y'all that don't know, this is oh, that looks so amazing. This is the hot honey rub, the new flavor just dropped. And then, girl, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I'll make sure I got my five and five. Mm -mm, don't want chicken short me. I'm going right back in there and get my chicken. I paid for it, right? All right. The amount that I paid for my chicken is the amount that I want. Okay. So this is the mango habanero. They good too. Y'all got to try the hot honey rub out if y'all have it. So I'm going to see y'all in a few. I'm about to eat. Girl, I got like this slight headache. I eat almost all day. Because I, I, girl, when I be having stuff to do, I be just on go mode. to come get me something to eat okay i mean get me something to snack on honey i keep hearing about that place and honey it was only right i had to come and try it out baby i needed to know what the buzz is about okay so you know i left the post office so it's time to treat ourselves okay and not cheat yourself period what's my slogan everything in moderation and you better know it okay so i know y'all want to be nosy y'all want a piece too you want to bite I'm gonna give you a bite. <laughs> but this is how the box look. It is so freaking cute. Look at that. Oh, she's just so adorable, ain't she? Baby, she better be good. Girl, I hope this ain't no cream cheese on this. No, 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 no. It shouldn't be, girl. I don't do cream cheese, y'all. I don't do cream cheese. I don't do yogurt. I don't do sour cream. Mm-mm. Okay, I don't do nothing, mm -mm, baby. I am so picky. I don't eat steak. I know. I'm like, girl, you show you this color and you don't eat steak? I said, baby, just because I'm that color don't mean I like everything. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. It is so freaking adorable. I'm scared to take it out the box. I'm trying to be real gentle because I don't want to mess the box up. It's so freaking adorable. Aww. She was like four dollars, not bad, girl. You see how big this cupcake is? Look at that. That thing is humongous. Look at all that good chocolate, baby. When I be stressed, I'll come get me a piece of chocolate, baby. Mm 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 mm. It's something about that chocolate and that. It's like y'all know them little chocolate cupcakes they sell in like Walmart and in the stores and stuff. Like the little ones that be in the pack. 
this tastes something like that but this is better it is way better it's like super moist it's super good girl y'all know i love me a good cupcake i like them chocolate baby <laughs> just like my what just like my man <laughs> baby don't play with it uh-huh grab you want to try the food trucks girl i be so scared y'all trying them food trucks this girl that be at the gym she was telling me about this vegan um food truck spot to try out but you know me i love meat girl i mean like for real for real girl so i'm playing with it <laughs> but 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 let me let me get back on track because i like to lose focus i'm gonna try out this vegan spot that she keeps telling me about she was like it's a food it's a little spot where a bunch of different vegan food trucks come and she was telling me how they so good. And she had like some yellow watermelon girl, a real exotic like me. Mm -hmm. And girl, I tried that thing out. That sh Ooh, girl, when I tell you that watermelon so fire, girl, that watermelon was so fire. I started Googling, trying to find out if it's a store out here that's selling watermelon, girl. I'm trying to go and girl, I went to the, girl went as far as went to the farmer's market. To see if they had the goddamn on yellow watermelon, girl. They ain't had it though. They ain't had it. But honey, when I, when that when that spot comes back, I think she said Sunday, not this Sunday, but I think she said like every other Sunday or something like that, like twice out the month or something like that. But I'm gonna try almost every Sunday. I'm gonna try to see this Sunday if they out there. And if they out there, y'all know I'm gonna hook y'all up and I'm gonna talk to y'all about it. But I'm gonna try check them out. I've never had vegan. And baby, I think it'll be a real cute video to be doing with me in the vegan restaurants. I mean, the food trucks, honey. That was good. Girl, I had one of the cookies, girl. I thought it was a three-pack cookies because she had like red velvet chocolate chip and I think it's like a sugar cookie. And I thought it was like three-pack like in the pack. Like she picked them out fresh from like off the like the bacon tray. But no, it was like three packs that's already sealed and stuff. And then it was like just all sugar cookies, all red velvet, all chocolate chip. It wasn't like three different cookies in one pack. And then I didn't want them in the pack. It just something about that pack. I don't want it, baby. When I come to a bakery... I want the fresh off the off the pan board out the oven. Okay, I don't want don't give me nothing that out the stove. I ain't come to the bakery to get no sealed packaged cookies. I want them fresh. Like Big Mama back there cooking them off the tray, baby. You know how she ah, blah, get your ass off my tray, girl. That be them fire cookies. Do you hear me? I'ma see y'all. Mm -hmm. trying to show y'all how your girl slowly losing weight like i always tell y'all ain't showing nothing in my mouth girl i just get through eating y'all know i love food so um basically um i wanted to show y'all not only how i'm slowly losing weight and the reason why i'm doing it slowly like i always state when you lose weight fast you lose a lot of things you don't want to lose okay because one thing about weight loss, you cannot spot reduce. You can't pick where you lose fat from, okay? If when you lose weight, it's just overall you're losing weight. And you know the main parts that you don't want to lose, you end up losing like the thighs, the butt. It's the good parts that you don't want to lose. Like your booty and your thighs is your major key components when you don't want to lose fat there. You know what I mean? So I was just showing y'all how I look right now with doing my weight loss. And not only that, like these kind of tops, you know how you wear tops and sometimes it fit good, snug, nice. But when you start working out or when you start moving around, you know how your tops start rolling up and it's so aggravating. So that's another thing. When you lose weight and you know that you're losing weight, your tops start fitting snug. And when you move around, they still stay in the same spot. Okay, I just wanted to tell y'all that. My tops always rolling because you got fat. You know what I mean? And sometimes you, your fat causes your tops to move around. But when you start losing weight and you will notice a difference is when your tops start fitting. And when you move around and you trying to clean or pick something off the ground and your tops still in the same spot, 
baby you're losing that weight okay and baby it is another leg day i don't know what's going on baby i mean i need to play the lottery at this point it's something okay i don't know what it is but baby every time i pick up this camera it's a leg day i don't know baby it is what it is maybe it's telling me to just work on the legs more girl i don't know honey whatever we are going to have a light leg day and that's what it is basically because baby i can't go hard in the paint today i went hard the other day baby and my glutes is so sore not even my legs this is my booty that's sore like crazy so when you're sore and you can deal like if it's a sore and you can't barely you can barely walk and you walking like a baby deer baby take some rest days until you can feel up the par to work out do not go to the gym and work out when you're sore you're gonna make things a little worse than what it is. Just be active though, because the more active you are when you are sore, it'll help with the soreness, okay? Or you could use some Dr. Teals. But if you are sore, but it's not too painful and you can walk and you good, just do lower weight. Don't go in there going crazy and picking up 70 pounds. So we headed to the gym and I will see y'all there. Starting off with walking lunges, one of my favorite workouts ever. Amazing for glute and leg growth. When I say you will see crazy results, you will. So um, I want to say this, though. When you're doing walking lunges, you should feel it in your glutes and in your hammies. If you're feeling it in your quads, then you're not leaning forward and using your mind-to-muscle connection in order to come up. Okay, so for example, if you're walking the leg that rises you up, you should be using your mind to muscle connections to come up. You shouldn't just like literally just come up. Okay, if that makes sense. And at the end of this workout, y'all gonna see me just stand still on one leg. And that's the reason being I'm applying a lot of tension, which will equals muscle growth. Okay. Like that boy is a cop. See, he home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me, cause he know that it's fat. Yeah. Ain't it been what it been? Huh. Calling his phone like you'll send me a pen. Look at my shit, cause he know what I'm on. Yeah. But when he hit me, I'm not gonna respond. Yeah. But I don't sleep enough without you. And I can't eat enough for- Look at my face. Look at it. <laughs> Girl, that water was so warm. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> so, these mother scooters is something serious okay these are called and let me go ahead and tell y'all now i put my own name on my own workout these are called kettlebell step ups okay these suckers 
is really something nice, okay? It's like a love and hate relationship with these, but they work so great. Like, isolation workouts is like one of the major workouts that you will see a lot of growth in, and we'll talk about that on another video. But, um, anywho, basically, what you want to do is use your mind to muscle connection to lift up your body and as you use your other feet to kind of come down like you see here don't step all the way to the bottom of the feet kind of tippy toe so it could give you like a low balance to come straight up but you're using the working leg to kind of come up if that makes sense <laughs> Man, it's kind of a little difficult to explain but uh, i hope y'all get it so y'all already know let's get that resistance bands yeah i haven't used resistance bands on a video in a minute but she here now so y'all know this is like one of my favorite freaking workouts ever i love doing me some rdls it kind of touched my soul a little bit y'all low-key don't tell nobody but for me to go this light on rdls girl i was like oh but you know you gotta do it for the soreness baby i usually go like a little heavy a lot heavier I just love that, you know, that feeling that I get when I live heavy. But anywho, so what I'm using is two lightweight, 20 pounds. They are super light to me. Um, I use the band for a little bit more resistance. And the trick with RDLs, y'all, don't go all the way down to the ankles doing RDLs. Just kind of go down over your knee to where you're at a point where you can feel the tension by just hinging your hips back when you're doing your rdls and remember when i tell y'all i was finding a hiccup in my workouts this is one of the hiccups i always like do something a little different which that was like basically holding tension on the muscle which is a great thing because you stresses the muscle out which equals a lot of growth girl why well, can't get these words out girl okay hip abduction oh it's like a tongue twister y'all but anywho honey i was trying to find a little uh little knob that adjusts the seat in which girl it had no knob on it for me to adjust the seat huh <sighs> short people life okay not too much on me <laughs> but anyway um so as far as doing the hip abduction workout um what you want to do is basically just kind of Take your time while doing this workout so you could put, you know, um, tension and burn on the glutes, which this workout is great for the side booty. You know how they always say, man, I can see that thing from the front. Okay, you better get your behind on this machine if you want to have that shape. machine works really well like if you are a person and i used to have it so don't feel ashamed that has like not loose skin between your legs but you know how your inner thighs they like kind of saggy if, if that makes sense if y'all get what i'm saying so this machine works on that and it also works on the outer um shape on the sides of your booty as well Okay, so this machine, I'm not sure the name of it, but I use it for my kickbacks and my side kicks, okay? Kickbacks are meant for the side booty, and the side kicks are meant for the top of your side of your booty, if that makes sense. And it better make sense, because I know it does. Okay, so you know how you get that hourglass shape and that peach shape and that thickness, and you know, like I said, you can see that thing from the front? That's what this machine is for, okay? I was trying to get on a cable machine, but honey, y'all, it was so booked over there. I had time to be trying to record, and, you know, people don't want to be on the camera, and it was so packed. And I was like, girl, I'll just pay it, and i just, you know, next video or another video, we'll do that, okay? But I prefer to do it on a cable machine because I feel a lot of more tension, and I feel like it works a lot better, but... For my second option, I use this machine. Okay. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Okay, so when you're doing your kickbacks, please turn your feet outwards and kick back. 
okay? Don't just kick back normal. When you're going, when you're doing your kickbacks, turn your feet outward and then do your kickbacks. That way it targets the side booty, okay? Side kicks, you don't have to turn your feet no way. And another thing, the hip abduction machine that we done and this machine, as far as doing your kickbacks, they both are the same workouts, just to let y'all know. Okay, low FYI. Girl, y'all see the bands, girl. I gotta take this out. It's that time. Yeah, look. Girl, I'm a real hair coming out, girl. It's time to get it redo or get something else. But I wanted to say this to y'all real quick. Oh no, it's like girl, all my serotonin and my endorphins is like really rushing through me right now. And not only that, girl, that workout was fire. That was so good for my glutes to be so, you know, my glutes to be, girl, my allergies is with me bad, y'all. For my glutes to be um so sore i want to say this if you are a person that you want to record your content and you nervous and you scared let me tell you something if you don't finish your affairs you're going to miss out on, on your success your blessings your life career possibly there's a lot of people that do social medias and make a career out of it you know what i mean and they really eat honey when i say mm -hmm, and you know all the brands and all of that good stuff that comes along with it but not only just that you're also motivation for others. You know what I mean? So I love to inspire everyone and I love to be somebody motivation like Kelly Rowland said, okay? Not in that way, <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. You know what I mean? Cause there's a lot of, you know, that don't really work out. And I love the fact that I can help out others and inspire my ladies and my jits to work out, okay? And I just encourage anyone that wants to record yourself and you want to be a content creator, baby, do that. Do it. I'm telling you, do it. You hear me? Do it. Okay? Don't worry about people looking at you when you're in the gym recording. If you feel like that, just go in one of their little rooms that they have that you can go in by yourself. Grab you some weights. Get your tripod. Put your phone on that bad boy and go ahead and do your big one. Okay? Don't worry about nobody because i ain't gonna lie people look at you because they all the want to do it too and they're like damn she really got the balls to pull out a tripod and really record i do yes honey i love doing this when you love something and you get a thrive out off of it and it's like a drive and you can you know you love it and you smile when you watch yourself on screen baby and how you grow and how you know your whole life has transpired within a period of time of you you know posting your content girl just to look back and look at you is such a girl it's nice it feel real good okay so i'm just really oh girl look at the police i ain't got on nobody's spell let me slow down girl let me slow down girl let me get behind him <laughs> girl don't play with the police girl <laughs> girl we riding dirty a little bit let me stop i'm just playing girl i don't play but, um anywho um i just wanted to say that man please post your content if you want to be a content creator do your thing majority of the times people probably looking at you because they nosy like i always say you know people is just nosy honey it, it don't matter what it is people know because i know i am okay and um just don't pay no attention to nobody who's watching you just be in your own zone you know you come to work out anyway you already be in your zone especially when you got your headphones on just be in your own world don't pay them no attention and just continue and thrive and be you and be motivation for others and also do something that you really like to do every week i try to do something that i'm nervous about i'm in fear of or something that i haven't done so basically i try to challenge me my mental especially my mind girl i gotta challenge the brain you gotta keep the brain on go mode so just always set goals for yourself inspire yourself and others as well on this whole thing and let me put on my seatbelt. I love you guys so much. Shout out to y'all for watching, girl. I'm about to pass the whole lease. I got time for the bull, girl. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Shout out to everybody. I'll see y'all next video, girl. Hopefully, them EBT hit. My beers. I'm gonna go shopping, girl. I need food, girl. I ain't lying.